Hello everyone and welcome to your brand new day on the bridge. I'm your host Patty Turner. When you're dealing with a life threatening illness or a loved one is the stress can be overwhelming. But what if you could take a step away from that just for a little while? Well, thanks to a special partnership between the Savannah College of Art and Design and Hospice Savannah, there is a virtual way to find peace and calm. What you're about to see is what happens when a little boy takes a virtual journey on a safari. Atlee is only three years old and is not a hospice patient, but his baby sister is, and going away on an adventure, even for just a little while, really helps him cope. This safari journey is called Spirit of Africa. It's just one of the three virtual trips family members of hospice patients and the patients can take to escape reality. It's all thanks to a unique partnership, a collaborative effort between Hospice Savannah and the Savannah College of Art and Design. Hi, I'm Terry Yarbrough. I'm president of Magic of VRX. I'm professor of immersive reality at the Savannah College of Art and Design, and I'm a VR evangelist. In the spring quarter of 2020, a group of very enthusiastic and highly motivated students enrolled in this class, and we created the first VR for Good class at SCAD. The VR experiences were designed to alleviate pain, to reduce anxiety in patients, and to provide positive engagement. So now let's take a look at some of these projects. So after the first class, a year later, year two, we got a grant again, and this time we did VRX immersive therapy. And again, we created three VR experiences for Hospice Savannah and the Stewart Center for Palliative Care. And these three experiences, um, they're very different. One was called Bird Feed, and that came from a conversation with Dr. Kathleen the palliative patients wanted to just return to some kind of normal semblance of their lives. They wanted to go outside and garden and feed birds. So bird feed is an experience in, in a low country setting with um, live southern oaks and the students used um, artificial intelligence so that if you hold your hand out in the game and you pick up seeds, a bird will land on your hand. In addition to that, they employed haptic technology so that not only did it feel like something landed on your hand, but when you petted it, it turned, the bird turned and looked at you. <laughs> it reacted to you. And when I first saw this demonstrated, I cried because it was amazing that technology could be used in such a heartfelt way. Welcome to Lumu, a virtual reality immersive therapy experience where you can step away from the world around you. In Lumino, you enter a peaceful and serene forest clearing surrounded by the wonders of the northern lights and the warm glow of fireflies. The patient is guided through a peaceful meditation and learns how to find balance and stress relief through simple movements inspired by Tai Chi. The patient is the composer of their own journey where their interactions with fireflies and breathing leads to musical and visual rewards. 
Lumino. Breathe, play, flow. So here's a look at a current case study um, for hospice home care. This is Bill, and Bill is a former high school science teacher and he has ALS. And his neck can't support his head, and oftentimes his lean is so severe that it, he turns off the quest. So we're working to stimulate the use of his right hand. I'm also searching for experiences that require one controller. Losing mobility and motor coordination and speech is devastating after having such a rich life, but VR is a major release and the high point of his day. He loves Spirit of Africa and Nalu, but he loves Trip VR because it gives him agency and he's able to make choices with his eyes and have some feeling of power. So this is one of our new goals for next quarter's class our VR for Good class, is to create an experience that has an eye interface. We want to close by showing you the power of this work with Joy. Joy was a 62-year-old woman who had a bad car accident and became quadriplegic overnight. She also continued to have neuropathic pain in her shoulder and her hands. So she was on a lot of drugs and not getting um, relief, and she couldn't sleep. So here's a clip of Joy experiencing VR. Oh, wow, he's big. Oh, that's amazing. How do you feel? Very relaxed, so the pain is just, it kind of goes away. So that was Nalu, and um, it was created, Na Nalu, heart of the ocean. Nalu is um, Hawaiian for ocean. And uh, I think a team of like eight students worked on that. And well, they, they did a very good job. It was very soothing and relaxing and pain-free. It was really wonderful. Thank you, guys.